Hello and welcome to Otten Math. What you've been waiting for, we're going to solve some problems involving factoring and solving polynomials. We had a lesson, we talked about different ways to factor and solve polynomials. Now let's go ahead and take on some problems. Okay, for number one and two, find the greatest common factor of the terms in the polynomial. Pretty straightforward, we're going to factor out for a common monomial, 4x cubed. And I'm left with x plus 3. And number 2, I'm going to factor out just the 13. So I have 3, uh, excuse me, 3c to the ninth plus 1. All right. So pretty straightforward, the first two. Next two, uh, for number 3 and 4, I'm going to factor the polynomial. So here I have my general uh, trinomial. 3x squared plus 11x plus 6. I'm going to use my diamond and box process to solve. I see that <clears throat> 3x squared or 3 is not a perfect square. 6 is not a perfect square. Uh, so I'm not looking at a perfect uh, square trinomial. So I'm going to take the product of a and c, which is 18. And the value of b is 11. I want to find the factors of 18 that add to 11. I have 9 and 2. I'm going to use my box. And I'm going to put into the first upper left corner the first term. Bottom right corner is going to be the C value. Bottom left is going to be either factor with the X. And then I'm going to take out the common factors from the rows and columns. From the first row, I have 3X. Second row, I have 2. Uh, I'm sorry, first column, 3x. Second column, 2. First row, I have just x. Second column, I have 3. So I'm left with 3x plus 2 times x plus 3. All right, second problem. Looks like a factoring by grouping problem. So I'm going to combine, like I told my students, try the first and third terms first. So I have 2, I'm going to combine or group 2x to the fifth. Actually, before I do that, what I've just noticed is that I have a common factor for all of these terms, and that's going to be 2x squared. So I take 2x squared out, and I get x to the third plus 2x squared minus 2x minus 4. Then I'm going to combine, let's just hold on to the 2x squared for a second. I'm going to combine the first and third terms, so I have or group the first and third terms, x third minus 2x, that's my first group, and then I'm going to add 2x squared minus 4, and I'm going to take out common factors of each of these. So this x cubed and minus 2x, I can take out a common factor of x, so I'm left with x squared minus 2, plus I can factor out a 2 here, so I'm left with 2 times x squared minus 2, and then I combine these two expressions, and I'm left with x plus 2 times x squared minus 2, and that's my result. Okay, moving on. Problems 5 and 6, I'm going to factor the sum or difference of cubes. So here I have a uh, difference of two cubes, so I see that s cubed, I can take the cube root of that and have a uh, variable that has an integer coefficient and the exponent is still a, an integer. Same here, I have h plus 4, cube root of 64 is going to be 4. So let's try the first problem. Um, and let's go back and revisit the sum or difference of two cubes and what the special product pattern is. So remember, I have a cubed minus b cubed is going to be a minus b, so I have a minus plus plus. So a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So minus plus plus, we go back to our example. I have s, so let's just write this out, a minus b times a squared uh, plus ab plus b squared. And you can use your notes to solve these problems, of course. I know my a value is going to be s, my b value is going to be 1. So now I have s minus 1 times s squared plus s plus 1 squared, which is 1. All right, so I factored the difference of two cubes. Then we go back again to take a look at what the product pattern is for 
this particular is the sum of two cubes, so I have h plus 4 is my a, r, my a and b values. And I take a look and I see that uh, sum of two cubes is a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared, so I have a plus minus plus, plus minus plus, so I go back to my example and I write this as h plus 4 times h squared minus ab, which is 4h, plus b squared, which is 16. So plus minus plus for the sum, and the difference is minus plus plus. All right, moving on. I have another grouping problem. So I have x cubed plus 2x squared plus 3x plus 6. I look for common factors. I don't see any. Again, I try the first and third terms, grouping those. I have x plus or x to the third plus 3x plus 2x squared plus 6. I factor out the common uh, factor here, x times x squared plus 3 plus 2 times x squared plus 3. And I'm left with x plus 2 times x squared plus 3. All right, last question, find the real number solutions of the equation. And it looks like I've got uh, the difference of two squares. So I have uh, d minus 4, if I remember my special product patterns correctly, times d plus 4. So remember, a squared minus b squared is the same as a plus b times a minus b. So I have d minus 4 times d plus 4. The real number solutions, and it's going to be equal to 0. Let's not forget this equation. d is going to be equal to 4 or negative 4 because the value of 4 or negative 4 will make this equation or the statement true.